So you're probably familiar with the wind turbines you would see on TV. They look like uh, propellers spinning in the wind. We see a lot of room to improve both the cost, the size, and also the environmental impact of wind energy technologies. So our work begins here in the laboratory, testing these new innovative concepts for wind turbines. But ultimately, we'd like to get evidence that they'll work in the real world. And for that, we use our facility in Southern California, where we have up to 24 of these 30-foot tall vertical axis wind turbines. These turbines are a little bit different because the blades, they rotate on a vertical axis sticking up out of the ground, almost like an egg beater. And that design actually has some important advantages when you think about wind farms where you want the turbines to be sited close to one another. The airflow from one of these vertical axis wind turbines, as we call them, can improve the performance of the neighboring wind turbines. Now what's unique about our site is that rather than simply installing them at a fixed location as you would normally see in a commercial wind farm, we can actually move these turbines around in any configuration we'd like to. In our actual research, what we'll be looking at are configurations inspired by schools of fish, flocks of birds, a variety of natural systems where we know that groups can perform better by interacting with one another. In wind energy, the status quo has always been to put the wind turbines far apart from one another so that they don't interact. However, in this case, we're finding that we can get significant advantages by putting the wind turbines close together. We're already seeing the benefits in the real world. We have a project in Alaska in a small fishing village where we're developing uh, a test site for this type of technology. So the concepts that we learn here in the lab, those that we test down in Southern California, in a matter of months, we're able to deploy them to a community that actually can use the electricity to reduce their dependence on diesel fuel. Now further along in, in the timeline, we want to look at more exotic designs than even the one you see here. Turbines with flexible blades that can bend in the wind like a tree does to survive very high wind events. The interesting thing about this technology is that we can generate significant energy with turbines that are only 30 feet tall, as opposed to the 300 foot tall systems you're used to seeing. And so what that potentially means is lower cost, a lower environmental impact in terms of interaction with birds and bats, and also a lower visual signature, which means we can install these closer to the end user.